It's such a pleasure to meet you, Nora, uh, and congratulations on the colony. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so happy to be able to talk about it. <laughs> and, and congratulations on the offer. I know that's filming right now, too. Yeah, we're filming it right now. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's it's fantastic um, to be working on, on, on that project as well. It must be a joy to be a busy actress. Yeah, I mean, we get busy and then we don't. And yeah, it's it's great. And I'm, I'm very grateful for all the different kind of roles I'm being offered and, and uh, you know, jumping from a science fiction movie to a, a TV show uh, where I get to wear, uh, wear dresses from the 70s. And and uh, yeah, it's uh, what a job. What a job. And you do it so well. Oh, are, are, you a, are you a fan of science fiction? Do you enjoy uh, sci-fi? Well, to be honest with you, I, I'm, I, um, I, 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 I like sci-fi, but it's not my necessarily the type of uh, movie that I uh, usually watch. But when I watched uh, the Colony, I was, uh, you know, I was saying I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't really like to watch myself on screen. I, I mean, not a lot of like actors uh, like to, but you kind of have to in order to try to improve yourself as an actor. And 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 you know, um, and uh, when I watched the Colony, I, I really forgot about like I put a distance between uh, myself and and the character, and and because the movie was so good, and it's one of the best movie I've ever done. And so, yeah, I'm I'm so proud of it. You know. And from an audience standpoint, too, it's smart science fiction. It's, it it's, is smart. And it's not only about science fiction. It's It treats with a lot of, like, different different topics. Um, friendships, family. It has a very strong ecological theme. Yeah. Um, it's beautifully shot, beautifully directed. Um, yeah. Tell me about being on set for this, because uh, were you using a lot of practical sets, or was it all CGI? I mean... I can't tell. That's how good this film yeah, is. Yeah. Well, Tim, the director, doesn't like to use CGI too much. Uh, he likes to play with real elements, which is why the movie is so good. Because, uh, yeah, he's uh, he really fo uh, wanted to focus on on the real elements, the tight lens. Uh, everything was uh, real, and uh, and the first time I discovered uh, the set was the first time my character discovered the set. So it was uh, really interesting and. Yeah. You mentioned that it's, you know, uh, has an ecological theme to it, but I, I, I even think it's deeper than that with we are destroying ourselves. And, and this is an aftermath movie of, of how people are going to, you know, ultimately survive or not survive. Yeah. And how people um, are people going to learn from their past mistakes, you know, um, and can we learn from our past mistakes? You know, that's a hard question because we never do. It, it seems like it. Well, it feels like we're always repeating the same uh, stuff, you know, over and over again. We think we learn, but then we repeat uh, our mistakes. So what's interesting in this uh, in this movie is that we learn that we have a tendency to focus on the external, but the real answer is first on the internal. And in order to fix things, we have to focus on the internal and what happened during um, during uh, the pandemic is that a lot of people had to work on themselves and 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 work on the internal. Your character Blake, I mean, she is so multidimensional. How close to her are you? Oh, that's a pretty good question, Tony. Uh, well. The relationship that she has with her father is, uh, you know, like I, I really got a lot from it. Like I, I, I my substitution was very strong, uh, and uh, she, she's hopeful. I, I think I'm a very hopeful person as well. Um, she, she's resourceful. I don't know if I am, but, <laughs> but um, and uh, she. Yeah, it's a really good question. She's, um, you know, it's it's very interesting because uh, Blake starts off 
um, like she learns uh, from a very young age how to repress her emotion, and uh, uh, she she was raised in a very cold and militaristic kind of thinking. And when she lands on Earth, she starts having those human feelings because her TSH level starts recovering. She she can't uh, procreate on planet Kepler, and when she lands on Earth, you know uh, her hormones uh, starts to rehabilitate in in a way and uh working uh, on a character that have that has to um um repress her emotion is very interesting because me in in nora i i i usually never repress my emotion you know what i mean <laughs> like when i cry i cry when i'm angry i'm angry you know what i mean oh my god there's oh that's so sorry but there's a leak that's... Uh, there's always a leak, believe me. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Yeah. It just compliments the movie, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I am so happy to have talked to you today. You are just a, a, a dynamite person. I was going to ask you to play the piano, but uh, our but time you want is... want to play the piano for you? No, our time is over. <laughs> oh, uh, but thank you so Don't worry much. about it. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. You too, Tony. Bye.